Oh, you want this? What is up, you guys? This right here, man. This, not this exact basketball, but you know, basketball. Yo, I just started Kirk Corner Basket last night. And I was, you know, after watching the first episode, I was tempted because the first episode did bring me in. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't as. It wasn't enough to bring me into the series, but since I was bored, I was, you know, kept watching. The uh, character Kagami really interested me uh, since he played basketball in America and now he was in Japan. But, you know, I, I decided to watch some of it and I ended up watching seven episodes, man. I'm on episode seven and I have to say I love Kurt from a basketball. And, I mean, I didn't think I would like a basketball anime. And everybody told me, yo, man, you need to start Kuroko. It's really good. You, you don't think you're going to like it, but you're going to like it. And I was like, nah, nah. That's, it's a sports anime. I just got done watching, you know, fucking Yu Yu Hakusho. I started Hunter x Hunter. Why would I start a basketball anime? But, surely enough, I started watching this. The animation catches my eye. The color catches my eye. The whole character catches my eye. You know, Kuroko, Kagami, and the teamwork. And since I was on the basketball team, you know, I, I know I experienced what it feels like not to get some of the shine sometimes and not get every all the credit that's due to you. But uh, Kuroko was really an underdog because he was put out of, like, everybody but the generation of Miracles didn't recognize him. And, you know, he didn't get interviews when they came to interview the generation of Miracles. And people didn't interview him, like, didn't put him in magazines, they didn't take pictures of him or anything like that. All because... He was the Phantom Six Man, like he he was the passing dude, and everybody else was you know great at everything else. And Kuroko was just good at passing. Now, one thing that I was worried about when I first started watching it is uh when Kuroko first gets shows his skills of passing, when uh they're having a little practice at Sere, I think that's how you pronounce high school. Um, you know, I was like, man, like he, why is I, mm, his power is gonna last? Also, I, I kind of predict like the games now, but uh, learning that you know Kuroko could only use his uh invisibility passes for 40 minutes, which really like interested me, and I still don't know why yet. And uh, the whole match between Kisei from the Generation of Miracles, the copycat, and um, you know, Kuroko and Kagami and the rest of the high school was really really intense i loved every second of it man you know when they even devised the plan of how kisei can't copy something if they don't have a pastor like kuroko i mean that, that that was so cool dude and then like when kuroko got hit and he was bleeding and he had to get back up and it was all for his team it was all for his city man it's all for his city and uh i love the fact that kuroko is willing to make a um sacrifice to become a shadow again so he can produce Kagami as the best basketball player in Japan. And I, I see Kagami's character like character development little by little. Because first he didn't want anything to do with Kuroko. Now he's like team working with him. So you know, yeah. Um, Thank you for watching this. I'm, I'm just running at the mouth right now because I really love this anime. Please go check it out. I was unfortunate enough to be ignorant and not check it out until just now. But go check it out. Like this video if you uh, enjoyed the video, I guess. Um, comment what you think about Kuroko No Basket. And subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.